now with everything that's going on um, I think it's safe to say that I can speak about this more freely than to feel kind of guilty about making fun of these this sort of situations because uh, Texas was going through a lot of shit and I don't really want to you know it kind of feel I would feel bad if I would start making fun of Texas and, and, and their whole situation because you know there are people you know have you know they're dying because they're freezing to death and, and doing very uh, you know crucial moves to try to survive the cold which they're not really um, very used to and I wouldn't want to uh, you know kind of make fun of that situation Let's start the show. All right, so bro, can you tell me why Texas is falling apart out of nowhere? <laughs> Texas is bad, down bad right now. Listen, yeah, I mean, look, I'll explain to you why this happened in Texas. And look, the the main thing you gotta know, Texas is main mainly famous for oil. Uh, everything's big in Texas, and Bush. So, from all those three things that I told you, you should know that these guys don't trip much about uh, the cold or or any kind of uh, green uh, alternative to oil because all the money that they get is is ba basically a lot of corporate money and their whole state is built around being corporate and not needing the government to help them out and this is exactly what's going on with texas and you know how could they prevent this is by um uh not not depending too much on oil and actually start to or they could have uh upgraded their equipment and not avoided uh this this thing known as uh, global warming you know so we're gonna get into that um, and we're gonna get into Ted Cruz and his whole situation on uh, getting caught <laughs> which is I'm gonna talk about it right now actually might as well that I'm here so Ted Cruz you know Ted Cruz is pretty much hated everywhere he goes. I'm pretty sure his own daughters don't even like him. Um, Ted Cruz looks like a, a raccoon with a suit on. Uh, Ted Cruz, Ted Ted's name is actually short for Raphael. <laughs> if you didn't know, he's actually Cuban. Ted Cruz uh, looks like Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance if he like scorpioned on his neck, you know. Or if Big Ed got a surgery and that's how he looks now, like Ted Cruz. Look, I can say a lot of things about Ted Cruz and all of them are not really good. Like Ted Cruz looks like the type of guy who would fart in the elevator and blame it on his daughter. <laughs> Ted Cruz is the type of guy to uh, take a shit and, uh, you know, and, and, and smell his hand after. Uh, Ted Cruz is the type of guy to, uh, to let his, uh, his wife be called, uh, ugly and not do anything about it. Ted Cruz is the type of guy to, uh, leave Cancun for Texas, which is freezing and, uh, blame it on his, uh, daughter. <laughs> I mean, this dude is so fucking reckless. Another thing that I wanted to kind of talk about was, um, uh, you know Joe Rogan and his whole thing because Joe Rogan would talk about uh, how California is this shit fucking state that can't do anything right right and uh, we got a whole bunch of homeless people and our uh, you know we're not doing anything about it and the fires and whatnot and now you know and also the whole comedy scene here in California, they, uh, the, you know, the, the comedy store and all that stuff and the, whatever, the laugh fast factory, they're not open because of the whole pandemic, you know, but, you know, I understand that he might be pissed off and other comedians are pissed off that they're not, they're not able to get work because they're not really essential workers, but it doesn't give you, 
it doesn't give you the you know it doesn't really give you any power to say that Texas is good either because of what happened recently and it showed it, it's kind of very much ironic in a sense but I mean, I'm gonna show you that right now Jero, good experience hey holding up did I move you out here at a bad time do you think I mean we considered suing you <laughs> I was sitting there going, can I take legal action against him? Like, I called a lawyer, and apparently I cannot. Listen, I, I'll give you free meals Yeah, every time we go out forever. We How were, I mean, I was on a bread line two days ago. My now, Tent Dillon is a, is a guy that I actually enjoy hearing. I'd never heard of any of his fucking stand-up before, but, you know, on, on the mic, you know, on the podcast world, he's a, a very funny guy. And it shows how how much balls he's got for actually saying was you know what was on his mind because Joe kind of you know encouraged all these comedians to go to Texas and now they're freezing their asses off. I was on a bread line two days ago. My opener flies into town. We're gonna fly out for shows. All the flights grounded. We can't go anywhere. I mean, we're waiting outside of a supermarket for an hour, and then we're eating fish sticks in the dark of my house. When you know, Joe. This was a real fucking leap of faith, but it's looking better today. It'll be fine. It'll Listen, be fine. It was a once in, they're calling it a once in a 120 year storm. Uh, that's not true. This is hap has happened before, just not as, as hard as it happened right now, which is like the coldest it's gotten. But I think what that means is like ever recorded. Oh, and by the way, the houses in Texas are not meant for the cold. Down to the last piece of wood. We need some help. Where are you at in Dallas, Texas? Holy shit! Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are these houses made of paper mache or what the hell? So this is what happens in Texas when the water freezes and you try to trip your faucets. <laughs> so that's the inside of the window. Again, the inside. Straight ice. Please help Texans. IDK what I'm doing. FTK this. I did not sign. Sounds like somebody's making raspados. Up for this. So I live in Texas and we've had no power for the last 28 hours. But good news, the lights are back on. Oh my god. Kind of jealous of these people. They got waterfalls in their rooms. Fucking room. Texas power is off in many places and no food at the stores. Like you go back to they're cheap houses, cheap ass houses, and that's why they're cheap. 1800 is what we're right. talking about. Or 1900, yeah. rather. Like when, what was the, what kind of fucking instruments were they yeah, using? Yeah, what were they, what were they jotting the down? The almanac was the big years, yeah. winter cycles. Yeah, and, and harvests and yeah. things like that, yeah. What did they do? Thing, it looked like what station. But my boy Ted Cruz is like, yeah, he was out. <laughs> right, look, he talks about Ted Cruz. What could Ted Cruz do in this whole situation that he represents the uh, the, the country, the, the the state of Texas? And by the way, yeah. isn't it sad that like he couldn't get away with it? It's like here's the thing about the Bush. It's very sad. He can never get away with anything. He's so spineless that he can't get away with anything. He has no balls. 
That's what Ted Cruz is. Family. Say what you want about them. Maybe whacked Kennedy, bygones. But, I mean, now our leaders can't even get caught taking a commercial flight to Cancun. Like, that's pretty sad. But here's the thing. Like, what can he do? What is yeah. the what is the reason for him staying? Is well, it, I think it's just the optics of how it optics, looks. Yeah, right. but of course. No, he doesn't have any of... Could, you know, what he could do is actually try to help out the people that he's rep- representing. Fucking AOC, who's fucking a representative in, in uh, New York, fucking came down there and helped them out. That's how bad it looked for, for Ted Cruz. Make it warm out? I don't think he has any power to do anything good. Maybe he should be there with blankets. Yeah, well, it's pipes. funny. It's like the people that hate him the most are the ones that are like, he should be there. And it's like, doing what? Well, here's, here's, you know. here's the thing, though. Yeah. He was one of the vocal critics of Mayor Adler who's a Democrat, right. who went to Cancun as well. Right. What is it? Everybody goes <laughs> no. to Cancun. I think he was in Cancun. Was he in Cancun or was yeah. he in... So all these fucking uh, you know, politicians are pieces of shit. And we all know this, right? We all know this. When we're suffering, when we're suffering, they leave. They leave to Mexico. No? That's how they are. So, we're going to go back to Texas. Um, let's see. They were saying that the the whole problem was caused because of the, the wind turbines, right? The, the big old fans. And they froze over. And somehow it was because of the Green New Deal. By the way, the Green New Deal never passed. And I think what they're trying to say is if we pass the Green New Deal, uh, you know, this would happen that they would freeze over but the thing is that they have those wind turbines in places like alaska and in the antarctica too so what now motherfuckers what's your next excuse they just don't want to um you know show any kind of uh uh uh, uh, what's it called responsibility into the matter and one's blaming one, you know the one person, the other one's blaming the other person for running it that way, and it's a whole circle of pieces of shits. Sure. So the way ARCOT works, obviously, it's, it's a complex uh, uh, entity that is a private entity that's in charge of managing power across the state, and we have to rely upon these experts to advise us what must be done. And I want to let you know what these experts told us. They said five days before the winter storm hit, ERCOT assured that, quote, we are ready for the cold temperatures coming our way. They also said that ERCOT had issued a notice to power plants to ensure that they were winterized properly. And ERCOT's annual winter assessment, which was designed to ensure the state is prepared, that assessment. See, like I, how I said before, these guys are um, uh, uh, trying. Uh, they're relying on the on the 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 corporation to fucking run the government. I mean, their little government, their state, you know, Texas, and they have no consequences for running it badly or or trying to find shortcuts for it. Assured the public of Texas that there would be enough power to meet peak demand this winter. Now, what happened is ERCOT fell short on all three of these promises they made, which is exactly why that I have ordered uh, the state legislature uh, to investigate uh, exactly why ERCOT fell short here. Uh, in the ma- this shows how the Green New Deal would be a deadly deal for the United States of America. Our wind and our solar got shut down, and, and they were uh, collectively more than 10% of our power grid. And that thrust Texas into a situation where it was lacking power in a statewide basis. It just shows uh, that fossil fuel is necessary uh, for the state of Texas as well as other states to make sure that we were, uh, will be able to heat our homes in the wintertime and cool our homes in the summertime. 